Okay, we're going to just pop the elastic option, specific option to do the class today. Uh, this is Mr. Johan Steele, a dear friend of mine. Uh, I think Singapore is very glad to have him it's, since we located in Singapore. Serial entrepreneur extraordinaire, uh, featured in news, news um, media like Newsweek, Economist, and <coughs> serial entrepreneur, successful dot com entrepreneur, billionaire. Uh, so, a ran out of attitude to describe you. I think you'll do a better job. <laughs> lecture in Singapore since I came. Oh, it's the second. I did one last summer as well. But uh, I hope to do a lot more uh, um, lectures here in Singapore since I'm writing out a book about entrepreneurship. And uh, and I want to spread the word of entrepreneurship because I think it is very important. Um, I agree with uh, Ken who was saying that you can become a doctor, a lawyer, whatever you want. I tell my children constantly that they can do whatever they want as long as they, they make sure that they do it well. And that they do something that they like and that pleases them. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's as, as good to be a doctor or a farmer or a banker or because the best thing you can be in the world is an entrepreneur. Um, for a number of different reasons. Predominantly because it's the only one who really creates value in the society. Uh, basically everything we have around us is there because of an entrepreneur. And every money, any money we've ever made, we've, ever, we've always made because of entrepreneurs. And even if you work in the State Department or somewhere else, it's, be, it's financed by taxing entrepreneurs previously. So there is only, I should call it God, there is only one true hero in society of mankind, and that's an entrepreneur. It, it is the answer of all um, problems that we have. It is the future of mankind. It is the savior of all problems that we have. So it's the nicest, most beautiful thing one can be. And, um, and when I describe it, the reason why I'm working today, not as, a, as an entrepreneur, as an entrepreneur, I am still, but predominantly spreading entrepreneurship and seeing that as more important than the actual entrepreneurial role itself, is that I fell in love with entrepreneurship as such, and what it could do for people, and how I saw people actually being able to work with entrepreneurship. It's incredibly interesting to listen to Ken because if, no matter where you listen to entrepreneurs around the world, they basically all say the same things. One of the things all entrepreneurs say is that what they say is the right thing. And all the entrepreneurs <laughs> sound as if this is the way to do it. But if you listen to 10, 15 different, different entrepreneurs, you'll find there's many different ways of doing things. And I try to be a bit more humble, or, although I'm not exactly famous for that, uh, by saying that all roads bear to Rome. Uh, and I truly believe that. There is multiple ways of being successful as an entrepreneur. Um, the, there's a number of things that are equally important regardless of a way you choose, um, which is, I'll get back to those. But there's num numerous amounts of ways of doing it. I do, however, agree with Ken that you need to know what you want to do. But you can ask somebody else for the idea. And but the good thing is, it doesn't have to be a good idea. If you look around yourself, this carpet, anybody would like this carpet in your bedroom or living room at home? No. Still, somebody's been able to sell, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 square.